What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is David Hanlon, aka The Laptop Legend, and holy cow, MIDI just released some crazy news, man. They are opening their first location on February 1st in Minneapolis, and we've got a lot of other good news in this press release. This is the press release we've been waiting for, and I'm just mad that I sold some of my shares yesterday to uh, prevent potential losses because, oh my God, I am missing so much upside now. This is exactly what I was hoping for, but it just, it happened a little bit later, and uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm definitely gonna be adding more shares of this because uh, now this run, in my opinion, is perfectly justified, and I think that we're going to see a lot more in the future. Do I think it is too late? Absolutely not. I will be adding more. Hopefully we can get a dip, so if you guys appreciate anything, any advice that I've given before, everybody, feel free to sell it open. Give me a really nice discount so that I can buy in a ton of shares because I think this thing is going to the moon and uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna dive into the press release real quick. So uh, yeah, let's go do that on my computer. All right guys, so I'm here on my laptop and this is the press release that they announced today. And again, they did it in the middle of the day with uh, one hour and 11 minutes left in the trading day. You can see the effect that that had on the share price right here, it was released right here. Took people a little while to find out about it, but uh, once they did, it spiked all the way up here. Obviously, there were some momentum traders hopping on this, and then it came back down here, which is honestly great because I had no buying power today. You can see I used it all up uh, trading other stocks. So if I go back here, let me just dive into this press release so we can really understand it. So they announced today that the new clinic subsidiary, the Good Clinic, expects to open its flagship unit in Minneapolis on February 1st, 2021. That is in like, a little over a week. So very, very shortly, this is gonna be opening. It's located in the North House apartment complex. We already knew that. One of the 52 multi-unit properties developed nationwide by Lennar Corporation. I actually didn't realize how big of a company Lennar, again, I still don't know if I'm saying that right, but I didn't know how big of a company this was. I was looking at houses last night on Zillow and uh, several of the houses were by Lennar. And also, if you go here, they are, look at this. They're a $25 billion company that trades on the New York Stock Exchange. This is a really, really big deal, especially for an OTC company, and a lot of people don't realize how big of a deal it actually is. That particular apartment building has 600 apartments uh, with 1,000 people in there, which is a great first set of clientele who can be using this Good Clinic location. And I don't think it's exclusive just to them, but it, it allows basically a guaranteed set of customers who are going to be coming into the store, which is what is so great about it. And uh, this is something that's actually really cool. So the CEO said, while the opening of the first unit is exciting, more meaningful is the enthusiasm with which the market has embraced our direction as demonstrated by a substantial increase in our shareholder base. That is you guys, that is me, that is everyone else who has found out about this stock recently and market capitalization. This increased level has shown that the commitment of our early investors and their insight was well-founded. We have new investment banking relations as a result of the market support. So because of all the stuff that we've been doing, because of us buying their shares and, and the share price going up recently, they have new support with new investment banking. And with their contribution, we expect to be able to continue their expansion plans, which call for over 50 units over the next two to three years nationwide obviously subject to financing market conditions. But again, I don't I don't really anticipate them having any issue with that. We are extremely pleased with the Nord House. Their CEO says, I mean, it, the, the design inside is really nice. It was coming along nice. If you've seen the video that I put in my last MITI due diligence video, um, I'm not sure if there's any new ones at this point, but it looked really nice. And I'm assuming it's just gonna be a very calm, peaceful place, which is the vibes that they're going for. I'll show you guys the website in just a second, so stay tuned for that. But this is what's really cool. So, Lennar Management is an enthusiastic and supportive landlord that we expect to be a key player in our national expansion. Again, this is a $25 billion company that trades on the New York Stock Exchange, and this is an OTC company that, I don't know what the market cap is today, but I mean, it's less than $100 million for sure, maybe 50 million, 70 million, somewhere around there. So, uh, that's a really good sign, guys. That's a really good sign. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, and then they're also talking about the fact that we already, again, we already knew that we had the two letters of intent uh, in Denver. And then also agreements in Minneapolis for other developers are underway, as well as 
opening new units in Florida and New York. So we did not know about that yet, but that looks like that's gonna be the next area where they start opening these locations. And again, this is literally just the first location that is opening up out of the 50 that they are planning for, and that's just for the Good Clinic, not even talking about other acquisitions. So, I mean, this is, this is getting really crazy. And uh, here's another really cool part. So separately, the company noted that its relationships now including investment banking firms whose operations include both institutional and retail investors. They believe their base of institutional investors has doubled in the last month and a number of them have established significant positions in the common stock. We expect that trend to continue as we prepare to uplist our stock from the OTC market to a major exchange. That is a really big deal. That is a really big deal because what is the typical exchange that people uplist to? Typically, it's NASDAQ. Now, I haven't done the research on what it takes to get uplisted to the New York Stock Exchange. I'm not sure on that, but if you go here, there's four different standards to uplist to the NASDAQ. And if you look at this here, this is probably the easiest one, standard four. Regardless of what it is, they have to have a bid price for the shares of $4. Which means, if they're planning on uplisting to the NASDAQ, they plan on having the share price at $4. And what is it at right now? Oh, it's at 20 cents. 20 cents. That's another 2,000% potential increase from here. Now, I'm not saying that it, it gets there. I'm not, I'm not saying that it gets there right away. I have no idea what it's going to do. But I think... The fact that they have the goal of uplisting is a very, very good sign. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're still looking for more institutional investors. I mean, the, the management team is insane. They know how to do this the right way. And uh, they, they don't put out fluff news. That's why we didn't have any news for a while, even though the price was going up. And now there is news because there's something to actually talk about. And you can see, I mean, some companies put out just ridiculous press releases that have absolutely nothing in them. I mean, this has so many in them that it's, honestly kind of crazy and then it just talks about obviously um you know everything else this is kind of the, the disclaimer they give at the bottom the history of the uh the executive team etc but now i want to go and uh show you guys the website because the good clinic website is live some of you guys were talking about that before you know like where where's the website stuff like that it is live now based on the google cache i think this website was launched on january 18th but i could be wrong um but i mean you can see it looks really really nice really clean this is not your typical otc company website and uh obviously there's still some things that they're working out because the first store doesn't launch i mean the first location does not launch for you know at least another week the first is in uh, i can't do that in my head i'm really bad at math call it 10 days the first is in no, 11 days, I don't know, something like that. So less than two weeks, but they still have some time to fix the website. So you can see, I mean, it looks really clean, man. I really like the vibes that it gives. The branding is nice. If we go here, there's a few things that they still need to fix, obviously. So, you know, little things like this, email xx at yyy.com, where they, you know, they need to update the phone number here. Please call phone number. Uh, you can pay your bill online, link to bill page, bill pay page like there's some things that, that still need working out but this is just i think kind of the bare bones and uh they're obviously going to get all the details hashed out but you can see services these are all the things that the good clinic is going to be offering i mean just go ahead and read that list man preventative care behavior wellness primary care women's health wellness planning skin care immunizations chronic disease management virtual care the fact that they have virtual care is also really cool especially in this time where there's a lot of people who may not want to go into a busy clinic. You know, they might want to get their care from afar and this has that availability, which I think is something that is so cool because there's definitely a need for that. There's a demand for that. And the fact that they are capitalizing on that, I think is a really good thing and will help them to expand the brand even more. So you can see here, I mean, they have all this stuff within the patient portal. You can have virtual care appointments with your nurse practitioner without even having to go in. View and update your wellness plan, message your, your nurse practitioner directly, access your test results and medical records, and set up your next appointment. So like, this website is gonna be very, very user friendly, and I can already tell that this is something that I would probably wanna use if there were a location near me, man. They really would. Uh, some of this stuff, again, you know, there's, they're still working on fixing up the website, making sure that it's 100% ready for the launch, patient portal coming soon. So there's, again, there's a few things, but I mean, you can see overall, this is really, really cool, man. I, I'm just, I'm really excited to see this. Care team, we got, we got Kim, 
Shout out Kim. Uh, you know, they got the, the, the leadership team. If you want to go read more about them, these are the people in charge of just the Good Clinic. Again, that's just one of the acquisitions of Metesco. But really exciting stuff, man. Really, really exciting stuff. I am definitely looking forward to this. That's pretty much all from this particular press release. And I mean, there's a lot of good stuff in here. So this makes me more confident in uh, the increase in the price. Because obviously, you know, when you get a stock that runs up 1,000% on no news, it's a little bit like, ah, I know the potential that this stock has, but at the same time, like, my day trader understanding of stocks coming back down, that is why I sold part of my, my shares, you know, pretty much 100% ago. So now that there's news, I feel a lot better about this stock. I feel a lot better about the company moving forward. And uh, I'm just glad we got an update, man. Uh, I'm really glad we got an update. So now I wanna talk about the other press release that we got. This was here, Form S8, Metesco Inc. This was also filed today, a little bit later. This is a little bit more confusing, and uh, I spent a lot of time reading through this, so you guys don't have to. If you wanna go read through it, by all means, go for it. I will throw this link in the description of the video so that you guys can do it if you want to. But I mean, you can see this is a crazy long form that they filed with the SEC. And there's just a few key parts that I want to go over so you can kinda understand uh, what it means. I am not an expert in this by any means, so if there's something that I misinterpret about this SEC filing, and one of you guys understands better than I do, feel free to comment down below, but uh, I'm gonna be talking as if what I'm saying is fact, just so I don't sound like I'm on the edge the entire time. I'm fairly certain that everything I'm saying is pretty accurate, so again, if anything is not, feel free to correct me down below. I am 100% willing to admit my, admit my mistakes. See, that was a mistake I just made. Case in point. Uh, so basically what this is saying is uh, this is saying that they are registering the fact that they are potentially going to award 25 million dollars, no 25 million shares to their employees. And you might think like, oh, this is dilution. This is an offering. This is a bad thing. And that's what I thought at first when I first read it. Um, but I double checked with some people and I read the entire thing. Again, I read this entire thing to make sure that I was not tripping. And it is actually not that. What this is, is compensation for the employees to make sure that their goals align with the shareholders. And this is actually a really, really good thing because this ensures that what they are doing as you know employees of the company is going to benefit the shareholders because they are now shareholders of 25 million shares. So that is, that is the point of this, if that makes sense. And uh, it actually talks about that right in here. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so you can see here, I finally found it. Um, the purpose of this Metesco Securities Incentive Plan is to benefit the shareholders of Metesco Inc. That is us. By assisting the company to attract, retain, and provide incentives to key management employees and non-employee directors of and non-employee consultants to the company and its affiliates and to align the interests of such employees with those of the company's shareholders. So again, like I said, the purpose of this is to make it so that everyone is on the same page because if the leadership of the company has 25 million shares, they are more likely to do things that are in the best interests of the shareholders because they are now significant shareholders. So if they can make the price go to $4, they are going to benefit a lot from that. And the price that they can get them at, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, 21 80, I guess 0.218, so 21.8 cents. And I'm not positive if this is the max that they get it for, but they can get it for under that as well. Um, or if this is like, absolutely, it's 100% at this specific price. So if someone knows more about that, feel free to comment that below. Um, but what's also cool about this is the fact that there are potentially some restrictions on these. Um, so if you go restricted share awards, that's on page 11, this was kind of the most important thing that I was seeing out here. Uh, yeah, so you can see here, the common stock awarded pursuant with a restricted sh share award shall be represented in the name of the holder such that the holder has the right to yada, 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 but the holder may not sell, transfer, pledge, exchange, or otherwise dispose of the common stock during the restriction period which means basically that they are giving these shares to people and 
potentially, I'm not sure what percentage of them, I'm not sure if it's gonna be all of them or just a certain number of them, but there will be shares that they are handing out that they are not allowed to sell right away until the end of the restriction period, which basically to me that means even though that they, even though they're creating these shares, um, they're, they're making 25 million new shares, this shouldn't have a significant impact because these shares should not be diluting the, the, the float, if that makes sense. And again, the float is the amount of shares that we can trade, not the investors in the company, not, not the employees of the company, but we, the outside retail traders can trade. And if you have 25 million shares, but they, they're not allowed to be sold because they're restricted shares, that means that they're not going to be driving the price of the main shares down. So that is the other important aspect that I wanted to point out here. And, uh, you know, basically they just talk about the fact that eligibility for awards, like they're allowed to, the board of directors is going to hand these out, uh, you know, yeah, subject to provisions of the plan. The board shall have the sole authority in its discretion to make all determinations under the plan including but not limited to which employees shall receive an award when the awards will be made. So basically, to me, this is saying uh, the board is going to use these shares as a reward for, I guess, good performance or, you know, if they're doing things right within the company, they're going to be handing out these shares like candy. I'm not sure if they've all been issued yet or if they, they get issued as the board sees fit. And this is just the max amount that is allowed to be issued. That is what I believe. But again, I'm not positive. If you know more, feel free to comment down below. But uh, this is just, this is another, another aspect of what is going on with the updates of the company. So this is another good thing. I would consider this a good thing. Based on what I'm reading, it does not look like it's going to have any significant dilution on the shares of this company. And again, it's already a low float company. So, I mean, the float is already like 60 million or something like that, which for an OTC is ridiculously low. So I'm looking forward to what's gonna happen with this, man. I would like to load up tomorrow. Hopefully we get a nice dip. Again, if you guys wanna sell all your shares so that I can buy them at a cheaper price, that would be really nice. But uh, I'm not a financial advisor. You don't have to, don't have to do what I say. I gotta say that. So. Uh, so you guys don't sue me. That would be bad. All right, anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, if you're excited about Mini, please drop a thumbs up down below and subscribe and turn on post notifications if you have not already. If you made it to the end, I really gotta think of something to say before I get to the end, but uh, kudos. That's the word of the day, kudos if you made it to the end. So thank you guys, I'll see you in the later video tonight. And until then, you know the drill. Let's go better together. Preguntar, bebé, dime por qué te mientes. No puedes esconder todo lo que tú por mí sientes.